Hi. Um, I get asked all the time about what I do for recovery in between sessions um, and how I manage to complete so many sessions consistently every week. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick video. So my week consists of about 12 sessions a week. Um, roughly 10 of them are on the mat and two are S and C. Um, I've only now because I'm pushing my way back in back towards doing some MMA, started taking it a little bit more serious. Um and got myself a few coaches in different areas, so I've got three different people helping me with striking. I've got one one or two people helping me put that together in terms of like shoot boxing, wall wrestling, tying me grappling and with that. I still do all my grappling on my own. Uh, I think the style we have at Carlson's is a very good style of grappling for MMA anyway. And then I've invested in my own S and C coach now that I work with on a one to one basis. Um and for me personally it's made an absolutely massive difference. Um like I said, I had no coach before, so for me every day I was just absolutely redlining it and training hard as I could every day. So I was thinking I was getting the most out of out of every day. Um when basically all that was happening was I'd have one or two weeks really good training that I feel really good about really looking forward to what's coming up next and then bang on the Monday I just get another cold um, I was basically just running myself into a wall every every week or two um, to the point where it got that ridiculous uh, thought I had to this was like the last thing I could try uh, so I've got an S&C coach now and we're doing something that I call that is called HRV every morning so I'll get up in the morning I put a heart rate monitor on for two and a half minutes and then that'll tell me how much percentage my body has recovered overnight. Um, if I'm anywhere below green, so if I'm like amber, even worse, red, and that determines what I have to do that day. So basically, if I'm in the red zone, I'm more susceptible for picking up illness, um, even worse, injury. So I don't want to be in that red zone at all does happen and it has happened over the last two weeks um, but when it has it's affected the way that I lift so if your body's ever fucked like this for example last week I was in the amber zone we did a lifting session where I was still lifting super heavy like almost max um, max weight for three to five reps but all I was doing was taking out the eccentric phase uh, which obviously stresses stresses your body quite a bit so I was just lifting the concentric phase real powerful, real fast. And then more or less just dropping it in the eccentric phase. Uh, so I did some very heavy rack pulls. I did some bench press off pins and I did some dumbbell row. So as I said, I was lifting the weight as powerful as I could and then just dropping it in that eccentric phase, not controlling it at all. And I did 20 minutes in my blue zone, which for me personally, going off my max heart rate, it's between 120 and 155 beats per minute. And this actually then, even though I trained again on the mat in the evening, got me back into my green zone, which meant I could really smash myself the day after um, without getting ill. So yeah, it's made a massive difference to me. So I would recommend if you are getting getting ill, every week or two it's probably due to overtraining without without knowing so it's definitely worth investing in and getting someone to help you with that on a friday at lunchtime 12 o'clock i do 10 grappling rounds every week so before that now i started coming over to edge pt's place and doing a little recovery session before i get into my grappling um so i'll take you around now what i do all right so i start with this so we're going here for 12 minutes. This is just red light therapy. Um, I do three minutes on my front, three on each side, and then three minutes on my back. Um, after 12 minutes on this, I'll go through here. And I come into an infrared sauna, or I sit in here for a while. So today I've done half an hour. So I sit in here for as long as I can to be fair, just have a stretch and that. And I come back through here, and lastly, I come into this room, which is my least favourite bit. And I just jump in this ice bath, and I do four minutes in here. 
So that's me. Um, that's everything I do in terms of recovery through the week. Um, I know not everyone will be able to get their own SNC coach. Not everyone will be able to monitor their heart rate every morning and shit like that. It's literally, I've never done that till the last two weeks. All I'm saying is here, if you're in a position where you can do that, then I would invest in that as it's already made a big difference for me. Um, for people that can't do that, and just try and be a little bit clever. Um, as I say, I've been probably training now like 20, 23 years or something like that. And I've, I've been clever in terms of if I feel like I'm on the verge of getting ill, I'll slow down. Um, I might have a rest that day. I'll do what I thought was a recovery session. Um, try not to do what I've done, as in absolutely smash your body to pieces every single day. Because not only will you get some injuries from that, you'll get ill. And what I was finding was two weeks good training is not worth it if your next week's going to be shit. Um, you're probably better off taking 10% off of that and trying to stay consistent with it as well and just getting better and better every single week. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just drop them in the comments and I will actually try and get back to you.